Hey guys, welcome to question MM166 of the Maths Methods Fortify Study Guide. Now we've got this function f, don't know what it is, doesn't really matter, uh, but we know that it's differentiable for all values of x uh, and satisfies a certain list of conditions that are written down in your question book. So we know that, uh, right, first of all, the best thing to do here is to draw a gradient table because all of these, um, all of these statements you know, f dash of x is less than zero, where x is less than negative one. They get very, very confusing very quickly, um, and it's easiest to just use a gradient table to visualize this. So let's just work down the list uh, and use our gradient table to fill in the blanks. So our first condition says that f dash of x is less than zero, where x is less than negative one. So where x is less than negative one, our gradient is less than zero, which means that it's negative. So I'm gonna put a little negative here. A negative slope goes down, right? If you haven't drawn one of these gradient tables before, you should start doing it because it's actually really, really helpful. The next condition says that f dash of x is less than zero where x is between negative one and two, all right? So again, f dash of x is less than zero, which means that it's negative uh, for x is between negative one and two. So negative, which again goes down. Our next condition says that f dash of x is equal to zero where x equals negative one. So x equals negative one, our f dash of x is zero, and our slope of a gradient of zero is flat, right? Stationary point. Our next condition says that f dash of x equals zero where x equals two. So at x equals two, our gradient again is zero, which again is flat. Our last condition says that f dash of x is greater than zero where x is greater than two. So at x is greater than two, our gradient is greater than zero, which means that it's positive, positive, which means that it's going up. So we end up with a graph. It doesn't matter really where it is, um, but we know that it goes something like this, right? Because it goes down, down, down until negative one. Then at negative one, it flattens out here. Then it keeps going down, keeps going down, flattens out at x equals two, and then is positive from two onwards. It goes up like that. So now we need to determine which of the following statements is true. So basically we just walk through the um, options. So A tells us the graph has a local maximum point where x equals two, here. Is this a maximum? No, it's a minimum. So we know that that's not true. So A is out. B, the graph has a local minimum point where x equals negative one. Is this a minimum point? No, it's a stationary point. So B is out, that's wrong. C, the graph has a stationary point of inflection at x equals negative one. x equals negative one is here. Is that a stationary point of inflection? Yes, it is, because this has a stationary point here, and it goes down and then continues down, which is, as you know, a point of inflection. So guys, C is our answer. A Little bit of a long one, um, a little bit confusing sometimes, but the gradient table will make it a lot, lot easier. So just use that if you're having any trouble. Guys, that's it for this question. Thanks so much for watching the video, uh, and hit me up if you have any questions. Catch you later.